Special guest today, WHPR TV 33, I'm Ilani, Ilani Wilkes, who we're talking about the man, male menopause and the lost libido with our distinguished guest, Dr. Vicki Salter. And joining us is Eric Jones. Eric said he has to get a fix. He needs a little help because hey. he might be uh, hey. having some of those uh, symptoms. Eric, come on in. Tell us what's on your mind and get right to it with Dr. Vicki here. Go ahead. I was real rough, Dr. Lyle. What was but anyway, what you just said. But what did I right. say? <laughs> I don't even know what I said. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. All right, could you tell us more about this male menopause thing? I mean, I heard that you don't have to be 40, 50. It goes all the way down to maybe in the mid-30s or something. Is that true? Yes. Um, research has shown that men as young, and it's rare, Okay. As 19. Really? Has exhibited some 19 signs. 19 years? 19 years. Let's find us a 19 year old. Oh, oh. Around here, Is it 19? Very rare. Oh, my goodness. Oh my. But have exhibited. Mm -hmm. But the peak age for your heightened or your best time for your libido would be uh, libido. from 15 to 30. And then 15 years old? 15 to 30. And that's it. 19 being the highest peak with okay. that rarity of mm -hmm. some 19 year olds okay. experiencing some signs. What sometimes. can they do? to uh, smooth this over, you know, uh, what's the quick fix? Um, well, the first thing they can do is accept. Accept it? I, I'd accept, accept it. Accept. Okay. It's a transition. Uh -huh. We that's all cool. go through it, and that's what it is. That's rough. Male 19, or female. I mean, you rare. Have to, that's why I wanted to say rare, because I didn't want to shock you. You are shocking me. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Dr. Love shocked me, too, in my <laughs> intro here. But anyway, um, what is a physical thing? It has to be a tremendous mental thing. I mean, is there, I mean, Something they can do about the mental thing. I mean, yes, that's they, rough yes. when your libido is exhausted. We as women have libido also, so it's rough for us. I know. But men, their quick fix is that little blue pill out there on the market. The little mm -hmm. blue pill. The little blue is pill. Is that why the color of the book is blue? No. That, <laughs> is, <laughs> that little blue I'm pill. Quick. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that, that little blue book. That little blue book. That I think that may have been serendipity. Okay, um, all right. In but, divine providence. Yes. Uh, okay. But it gives that man his confidence back. Okay. For a short period of time. For a short period of time. Yeah, but what what the the, what right? That's why we call it the band-aid. I call it the band-aid. What are the side effects of that? You know, you just can't keep on putting that uh, those chemicals in your body. Is there some natural herbs or vegetables or fruits that could bring us into balance? That's what I heard too. Yeah. There are some things that's um, in your health food stores, if you will. Okay. I'm not well versed on all of those okay. because I do come from a medical okay. background. All right. So I do know about the prescribed medication. Okay. Um, so we should go see our physician. And, and get a simple blood test. Blood test, okay. And it's called testosterone level. Okay. That testosterone level should be somewhere between 260 and 1,000. Okay. Anything below that or at that will tell you that you're on the decline. Okay. Well, there's other signs too. Tell you We're on the decline. decline for time right now. So another really? guy out there about 19 wants to ask a question. So we'll take a break. Come on in. Here he comes. Cecil Williams is on his way. He's a, a young blood and he thinks he might have some symptoms. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Help us on the way. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back. Hold on. at the young age, maybe 15, there's male oh, menopause, 19. and the 19 uh, are up, and research says that there's some validation to that. And Cecil Williams is here. Cecil is from the Highland Park uh, Career, Career Academy. Academy, and what's on your mind, sir? Well, are you a believer? Are you yeah, a I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you're a handsome guy there, you know. Uh, you haven't got to that stage yet that you're practicing, of course, but uh, what questions are on your mind? Okay, what exactly is the task? Uh, how you pronounce it? The man, male menopause, and the lost libido. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you use that word. Uh, testosterone. Yeah, testosterone. testosterone. Yeah, that's what yes, I was looking right. for. Oh, the testosterone. Mm -hmm. okay. Testosterone is what men produce. It's the primary male sex hormone. Oh, okay. okay. It determines your characteristics, your libido. Yes. It determines how you're going to be built, your physique. Your size, oh. your mm -hmm. slender, and... Uh, is that the color of your eyes, your nose, your whole physical? Or well, just that's more sexual genetic. It's more, it's more sexual. than sexual. Okay. Okay. Any other quick question? This male menopause thing, is this like a disease, a disorder? What is that? It's not a disease. <laughs> <laughs> I was it's just, a disease. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a phenomenal. Yeah. Oh. Every man goes through it. Right. 
It's oh, every man. Is, all it means is that you're going through a change every day of your life, and as you transition through that phase, you will come upon male menopause. Okay, all so right. it's only natural. All okay. right. right. We've got to get right. to the library and read some books and uh, get ourselves a... Uh, in tune with what it's all about. Taking a break, got one final wrap here. We'll be right back. Uh, Fred Duvall, so he's got a hot one. Come on in, uh, uh, Representative Fred Duvall, as we take a break, and uh, we'll be right back with our final comment. If you still have a moment to call, 868-0351. If you want to call, you better do it now. Dr. Victor Salter is here, and uh, time runs out. Fred, you got 30 seconds here. A quickie one and a quick answer. I was trying to recover from my male menopause, right, but right. I don't think that's happening so fast. <laughs> okay. How long does this last, and what's the final effect for yeah, right. men? The final effect for men? Yes. It's the death, unfortunately. Death? Yeah. You're death, serious? Is that serious? Male, no, male menopause won't kill you. Life will. Oh, life is <laughs> a little stress. <laughs> and it looks like for him, just <laughs> dealing with the term. Okay. Yeah, right. it's not, <laughs> All right, we're not ready to go for our transition no, I, I right now. Not right. Really. So it's All not right. that male menopause will kill you, just the That's transition right. of life ends in death. Okay, sure. Thank you. read up on the subject, go see your physician and get whatever help you can good fruits and vegetables stay yes. away from that stress and if you feel like you got it coming on you know what to do come back to whpr tv 33 we'll give you some more hot information life exciting moments always happen here with dr ilani ilani and don't forget get your dvd uh the uh fellow around the corner there there's henry tyler he wants to share it with you you can get a copy of this program by calling henry tyler 868-6612 during the week, and he'll be happy to supply you with copies. And, of course, you can always pick up a book in the library, Dr. Vicki Sullivan. We'll see you next time. Enjoy. Hello, Detroit. I'm Sandra Stewart. Don't worry. Be happy. Coming to you with a big thank you to Detroit and Highland Park and surrounding communities. And a special thanks to our magnificent production team. Thank you, Henry Tyler, Ray Basmore, Eric Jones, Cephas Johnson, John Maxey, RJ Watkins, and our fabulous producer, Dr. Mary Ilani Lani Wilkes. Continue to listen next week, won't you? I'm Sandra Stewart.